all new flooring, new vanity, new large mirror. We did this accent wall, which they're just so nice. Like they feel, so I just love the look of that. So this is what it looks like. And then those I got from, but it's different and it's modern. Back and forth for what pillows I want. These little jars, I really love the look of this bathroom. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome if you're new here today's video is going to be an updated tour of how our house is coming along so as most of you guys know we purchased a house and we ended up doing uh, quite a bit of renovating on the house to make it more our style, a little bit more updated, and it definitely took some time. It's not easy doing renovations with a one-year-old, but we did it and we had a lot of help, so we're so thankful for that. Both of our families helped out a tremendous amount, so that was like amazing. But anyways, I definitely wanted to get a lot of footage throughout the whole process, and so I have a few videos that I will link here. Um, of us just kind of like in the midst of it all but things are finally starting to come together and I definitely wanted to get more footage of like shopping for decor and like putting up decor but if you know me I am like the most indecisive person ever when it comes to decor shopping I would literally find like so many things that I loved but I would leave with like one or two items, come home, try them out. Half the time I didn't like them, I'd have to go back and return them. I just like made the decor process so much longer than it needed to be. But honestly, decorating house, it takes time, it takes money. And this is our house, so I want to love like all of the pieces that we do put in this house. And I think it's been a really important process for me to kind of go through and realize that like... Yeah, you gotta have patience and you gotta have self-control when it comes to decorating a house because it's a lot of space to fill up. But I wanted to give you guys some updates. So I know it's a work in progress. I hope that this video gives you guys some inspiration. I am by no means a professional interior decorator like at all. I get most of my inspiration through Pinterest and that's about it. I just go with it. I feel like this whole video I'm gonna just be like, okay, that I wanna change, that I'm not done with, blah, blah, blah. But whatever let's just go okay this is like a work in progress yeah there's a box right there of decor that i don't know what i'm doing with yet all right let's start with the bedroom also please ignore all the messes that you guys see during this video i like picked up really quick but to be honest like when is the house ever perfect okay so yeah Okay, so I'm in the upstairs hallway right now, and this is the master bedroom. So, real quick, I wanted to explain something about the doors. We installed these black hinges because we wanted to get black handles. We haven't gotten the black handles yet, but I think that's going to be such a nice touch. So, if you guys are wanting to update a space, um, I think that will help a lot. We have one of the doors done downstairs, and it makes such a difference. So, still need to get those put in, but we have the hinges on. It's so funny. But not the handles okay so when you walk in the bathroom's right here to your right which i guess i'll just show you guys that first this is a bathroom that we completely redid so all new flooring new vanity new large mirror and new light fixtures and i'm like so obsessed with how this bathroom came out oh and obviously this wall my mom tiled this half wall and it is just so gorgeous it's like a bubbly kind of a bubbly subway tile but yeah this is the vanity it's all organized we have towels down there a little bit of storage in this basket and then i got this vase at target and this is dried eucalyptus from hobby lobby cute little soap my perfume and then we did the black hardware and of course the black light fixtures and then the floors we got done because they had a really old carpet that needed to be replaced anyways and it went all the way up into there and that's just like a toilet and a shower that's literally all that room is but i think this just made the space feel a lot bigger and then this closet me and my mom literally made out of scrap wood we just bought these rods and that's pretty much it and so i don't know if i want to put the doors back on or curtains because i love how you can see the tile all the way through if not, it would kind of just block it off, but I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. So that's the bathroom, and then you walk into our room. Again, ignore all the messes. I haven't, like, decorated the dresser or the walls, but the bed in this area is pretty much done. So I ended up getting a white duvet cover, which I love, like, the texture on it. I think it's so pretty, and then I figured I could just easily take it off to wash it and bleach it. It's from Home Goods. 
Um, and then we got these sheets here that I love. And those were from Target. And then this black pillow was from Home Goods. And then this leather pillow I actually got off of Amazon, which I love. We have some of them downstairs too, but they are just like the nicest. It's a pillow cover, sorry. They are just so nice. Like they feel like such good quality and they're so affordable. So I'll definitely link those. And then these end tables were actually handmade by a really good friend of ours. And they look so nice with the room. Like I'm obsessed with it. I still need to get either like two lamps or two plants and then i'm probably gonna get rid of that lamp um and then yeah we did this accent wall which i love the color of i feel like it's literally the perfect shade for like the style that we're going for so this dresser actually just like a little tip here was thrifted we painted it white and then we put black knobs on it and it just looks like so much better like it looks cute it looks fine we gotta organize all that stuff. This little collage we just put up the other day and I think it's so cute. These frames were also handmade by our same friend. And then this I got at Home Goods, and this was TJ Maxx and then I put these in from Hobby Lobby. So I just love the look of that. And then over here we have another closet and then this huge empty wall, which I really do wanna get like a giant body size mirror so i'll probably do black i think that's the color i'm going to do but i'm trying to thrift one first and then over here we have these two windows which i ended up getting these curtains at target they were like on sale for so cheap so i just like got them we needed blackouts and they're like a light gray i don't know if i want to do gray in here or not or stick with like more of the like earthy tones so let me know what you guys think if you think the gray ties in all right or should i just go with like a light tan or even like a white i don't know like i said i'm so indecisive okay so coming out of our room we have the guest room here which is still a work in progress roman's room i will show you guys that a little bit later and again we got to get those black knobs on i think it'll just help so much oh and we ended up doing um of course the new carpeting but also new baseboards but they just look so nice anyways this is the guest bath which i am like so happy with how it came out i love it so much it's exactly what i was going for and i'm like so obsessed so this is what it looks like it's so cute these shelves right here we actually got them from Home Depot and then we picked a stain we stained them and then we put them up um, And then I was like, okay, what mirror do I want to do in here? And then I found this mirror at TJ Maxx and I like freaked out because it's like the same color wood It literally ties in perfectly and I wanted like kind of a fun mirror here So we did the black again with all of the hardware I touched up the paint on those lights too and then I also painted these a matte black and then we got like a matte black toilet paper holder and then this bath mat I found at TJ Maxx I just like the neutral tones I think it goes well with the shower curtain from Target so everything ties in pretty well and I love this bathroom so much all right I will show you guys a bit of the downstairs so again it's definitely a work in progress and then if you guys have been following along we painted the whole house white so it was like a greenish gray we ended up painting the whole house white other than Roman's room but I feel like that really brightened up the space so right as you come downstairs we have this little like unit but basically I'm using this as storage for Roman's toys. So I'm in the process of like decorating and organizing it, but I love this plant. This was from TJ Maxx. And then this little basket I'm like indecisive about, but I do love this. So I'll probably keep that here and just add like a candle or something. But I'm realizing that he's gonna be able to pull stuff off it pretty soon. So I don't know how much I'm gonna put on it. I should probably just do like something above it. I'm thinking like a black mirror, maybe like a round mirror or something would be cute. But that is Roman storage. I'm trying to like organize it with the baskets and stuff. And then moving on into the living room. So the renovations that we did in here were the paint and then this fireplace, which I feel like is a huge focal point of the room. So I definitely wanted to spend time figuring out what we wanted to do with that. Please ignore the cords and the TV not being mounted yet. That still needs to be done. We ended up picking out a grout that kind of matched the grout in the other tile and then I just loved the tone. I don't know if you can tell, but the tile kind of like, I don't know what the right word is, kind of like ombres, I don't know. And it goes with the tile in the kitchen, but it's different 
and it's modern. I also ended up painting this fireplace a matte black. It was like a bronze color before. It was like such a slight difference, but to me, I like that it's like fully black now. And then my grandparents actually made this mantle for us. It is so beautiful. I had like the hardest time deciding what to put on it. I'm still not sold on it, but those are our wedding vows. And then I put two candles. And then on this side, this little love vase that was from my grandparents. It has this cute little story behind it. And then this vase from Home Goods, And then those I got from Hobby Lobby. But yeah, I love how it came out. I think it looks so good. And over here with this chair, I really don't want this chair down here. It's supposed to be in the nursery, but there's just not a lot of space for it. So try and decide if we wanted to sell it or just keep it. I don't know, but I don't really want any gray in here. So I'd rather have like a leather accent chair right there, but for now, that's what's there. And then this rug we got from Living Spaces. I love the colors, I love the style. And these are the pillows that we have on the couch right now. I keep going like back and forth for what pillows I want, but I think this is my final decision. I used to have some black ones on here to tie in like more of the like black accents, but I think keeping everything neutral in this area just looks a lot better. So I ended up getting some more of these pillow covers. And again, these are like amazing quality. I love these. This pillow I found at Home Goods, love that. And then I just have a tan. And this throw blanket is from Target. It was like 14 bucks, but I think it's just perfect. This little tray I found at TJ Maxx. And then we have nothing on the walls yet. So that's like something that's been on my mind. I love like the minimal look of it, but I do want a little bit of something. Moving on to the kitchen. I don't want to keep repeating myself because I've said this in other videos before, but we pretty much painted everything white. We did the black handles. Um, we did like this black faucet right here, which I love so much. It's so nice, but that's pretty much it as far as updates. Uh, for decor, I just put up these curtains from Target. They're kind of like a linen cream color but I think it ties in really well. I don't know, there's not too much in the kitchen to show you guys other than like these shelves over here, which uh, we got from Home Depot, we stained them. These little jars I got from Target and I wanna put like oats and chia seeds to have it for like easy access. I always make my smoothies right here. Then we have a little diffuser, this little hanging plant from Home Goods, and then this random vase. I don't know what to do with it yet, but it's just like an empty vase, so. I'll probably put that somewhere else. I'm not really sure. I feel like everything is like a work in progress. And then I'll show you guys this downstairs bathroom really quick. Oh, here is one of the knobs that's black, just to give you guys an idea of what we're going for. But anyways, this one needs to be changed. We did some renovating in this bathroom as well. We kept the tile. I feel like it would've been weird to like cut it off randomly. So it's in pretty good shape and it flows. But basically for this bathroom, we tore off the counter, we kept the vanity, and just did a new countertop, new hardware. My mom tiled this gorgeous backsplash, and then we did a new mirror and a new light fixture, which I love this light fixture so much. I like love this bathroom, it's so like vintage and classy. I wanna do some more decor over here, maybe like a hanging plate or something, not sure yet, um, but yeah. That's how this bathroom turned out. I really love the look of this bathroom. I hear Roman on the monitor. He definitely just woke up. Oh, need a bubba. Okay, I'll show you guys some of his room too. Look at Abel, he's so ready to go get him. All right, let's go get him. Did little baby take a good nap? My monkey. <gasps> How'd you sleep? Can I show everybody your room? Is that okay? <laughs> Okay, come here. <laughs> he loves the camera. Is it so cool? What is it, baby? Oh, you got sleepy eyes. <laughs> okay, so with his room, I really haven't changed much from like what his last room was like. I didn't want to buy all this like new decor. Yeah, if like pretty soon he'll be able to tell me what he likes. So that's like so exciting. But I did want to make this room. <laughs> I love you. I did, oh my gosh, so sweet. I did want to make this room more mm, functional for like a toddler versus like an infant. So I'm still trying to figure out like how I want to arrange like his books and toys and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys what we have so far, okay? 
We showed him. <laughs> so this is Roman's room. He still has these adorable paintings that my sister did. They're seriously so cute. And every day when he wakes up, he points to them, don't you? You go, ooh, animals. <laughs> he loves them so much. And then we have the same little accent rug right here, which I thought matched really good with the walls, so we didn't paint his room. And then the same plant over there in that corner, it was thrifted. Right here at the window seat, we did like a navy cover for it. My mom helped me make this, which matches so well with the rug and the walls. Right? Do you love it? Yes! I still need to decide on what pillows I want to do with it. And then these are the curtains that we put up. Me and my mom actually ended up making these blackout curtains. I didn't like the look of any other color in here. I thought the white, like, looked a lot better. So she ended up helping me stitch, like, these old blackout curtains to the back. And then you just see the white, and it's, like, perfect. They block out so much light, but they still look so light and airy. <laughs> Roman, you want the camera so badly. We're almost done and then we can play, okay? And here's his dresser. We just put together this wall collage of some of his old decor, which I think just looks really cute. Yeah, you like it? Okay, are you done? <laughs> he said, I just woke up. I want to see my mama. That's what I want. I love you. Let's go play, baby. All right, so that's pretty much it. <gasps> You're hungry. Okay. Go eat, love. Okay, I gotta go feed him. He's hungry, but things are getting there. It's been, again, a process. And I'm learning that it's gonna be, like, owning a house. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to get done and, like, keep up with. All right, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. He gets so freaked out when I talk to the camera. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more decor and more updates. I also really want to get up my everyday five minute makeup look just because it's so simple and so easy to do with a baby. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Say bye bye Roman. Roman can you say bye bye? Can you say bye bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> you got your ball. Bye. Say bye-bye, Abel. Say bye-bye.